Hello everybody on YouTube, Sonic Waffles here, and today you're watching a game of Domination on Fallen. And before I get into this gameplay, I'd like to tell you a little story of something that happened to me last night. So, I was coming home from, um, I, I went out to the store and I uh, just got some groceries. It was late at night. I don't know why exactly I went out, like, uh, it was, it was like 8.30, and, well, it was 8.30 when I left the store, I remember that. So it was probably like 8.45, and, uh, it was dark out, and I couldn't see anything, but obviously, you know, you can see stuff in the headlights, and some of you may know, um, at least the people that are friends with me on the PlayStation Network, that I drive most of the time. I don't, it's not necessarily my car, but I do drive a Dodge Challenger a lot. And it's um it's a pretty good car. It is. It's it goes from like in a quarter mile, I think you can reach like 115 or something like that. So it's a pretty fast car. And not only that, but it's got some get up and go. And we were at this intersection, all right. Or well, I say we, but I really mean just me and the groceries, of course. But I was at this intersection, and you know, it was dark out, so there was some guy behind me, and then, you know, these guys were, you know, they're pulling up to a stop because their lights turned red, and it was about to turn green, so I decided to have a little fun. Speed limit was 35, and I just floor it, okay? Now, I didn't break the speed limit, but I wasn't planning to. But there's no laws against accelerations. However, there are laws against screeching, and I made a very loud screech. Now, when I did this, some guy was, like, tailing me, and I'm like, who is this chump? Sitting behind me, you know, tailing me just really close, like within, I mean, 20 feet or so. Uh, and he was keeping up with me, so I guess it's like, okay, well, this guy's probably, you know, lost his manhood or something. Well, then I'm like, who drives with this stupid, like, gate on the front of their car? Like, this, these weird armored metal bars, like, uh, wait, armored metal bars? What? That's a cop. Yes, there was a cop right behind me, and I blew some smoke in his face when I screeched out in front of him. So, that was very interesting. Now, what ended up happening is that he just, um, he just pulled me over and gave me a little bit of a nice talking to. I told him that, look, I didn't break the speed limit. I didn't know you were there. I, well, I, I shouldn't have said that, but I realized that I didn't, I said I didn't know you were there, but... Um, anyways, I said, I normally don't do that, and this is my first time, like, getting out. I'm, I just turned 16, so this is my first time really getting out on the road, which was, which is pretty much a lie, um, unfortunately. But, yes, it was true. Um, well, it was, it was true that it's a lie, so, uh, at least I'm telling the truth now. Anyways, he gave me a little warning, and, um, he told me to turn my music down, too, so, yeah, that's just a little story of my first encounter with a police officer. Pretty, uh, pretty interesting. I was like, yeah, I got, got pulled over and my, my challenger, I was going 35. What? No, that's not, that's not an interesting story. It was just a little screeching. Anyways, let's talk about the gameplay, fellas. So the gameplay is just a domination on Fallen, and this was actually the same day that I recorded that I can do that too gameplay. So I'm using that uh, same setup. Well, actually, no, not the same setup, but, oh, by the way, I got the golden scar, just uh, to let anyone that wanted to know. Anyways... Um, I'm using this setup that uh, I'm actually really enjoying. It's the uh, ACR. It's as you can see, it's custom. That's set. That's because I have the double attachment. Uh, excuse me, I burp, burped. It. I've got the uh, two attachments on it, and those two attachments are extended mags and a silencer. Now, the benefit of this is that the silencer on the ACR is probably one of the only guns that doesn't make it a bouncy random recoil. It actually pretty much does the same thing as kick, or at least that's what I feel. Um, a lot of people use kick on every assault rifle. Well, there's only, I, th I think, honestly, two assault rifles that actually have a silencer that does the exact same thing as kick. And those are the Scar H and the ACR, both very powerful guns. So, you don't need kick on the ACR. Because if you have a silencer on it, you're good to go. Not only does that keep you off the radar, but since you're going to have two attachments, I put the extended mags on it because it can be very... It can be very annoying because it slows down your gameplay whenever you're reloading constantly. Now, I normally reload after every kill anyways, but sometimes I end up in a close, tight situation where, you know, reloading would be to my disadvantage. So, I don't want to do it. So, I don't. And that's where Extended Mags comes in. Now, one away from my kill streaks, which are 
the Predator missile, the attack helicopter, and the AC-130. I've been running the AC-130, but I think I just switched out for the payload today. And I would also suggest for you to use the payload, just because if you're on a roll and you get into the AC-130 the second you get out, chances are things are going to be switched around. It's just going to be all a mess when you get out of that AC-130, just because chances are you're going to kill people, their spawns are going to move, and so are your teammates where you would normally call on your AC-130 around a few teammates. Well, since you're killing a bunch of people, they're going to move towards where you're killing them, you know, and try to beat you to those kills. Well, if you call it in where your teammates are, eventually they're going to leave you, and then all of a sudden you're in prime spawning grounds. You're one person in the enemy spawn. So I do advise you to use the Pavlo unless, unless you're one of those people that really like the AC-130, which I know there are a few people, so hey be my guest but that's just the explanation of the gameplay there's really nothing that i can tell you that's um, a a very good tip or anything uh, extremely interesting about this gameplay it's pretty much standard stuff actually it is a very high kd game well it's a high kd game for me at least um it's it's nearly a 10 i think it's i think it's a 9 yeah it would be a 9 it would actually be a straight up 9 i end, end up going 27 and 3 now um, one thing about this style of gameplay that I am going to tell you, and this is probably going to be um, saved for another Sonic's Tips to Success, um, but the one thing that I've noticed recently, and I've been trying to recruit people, like just going into lobbies and then seeing the people that actually do good and that actually put up a fight, looking at those people and seeing you know what they're doing, and then sending them a friend request, because this style of gameplay is very dependent on your teammates. Uh, if, for example, my teammates, like, I can kick butt like this all day, okay? You know, unless, you know, there's a, a lobby full of people that are, you know, know what they're doing. Um, but against randoms, I can do this all day. But this style of gameplay, if you've also got randoms on your teams that have no clue what to do, and they're not capturing any flags, they're not killing, more importantly, like, even I, uh, I find myself in situations where, like, I need people to help me kill, uh, just because, like, Two people against nine, which is normally what ends up being the people that are, like, really killing people, isn't going to work. So, in that case, you're pretty much out of luck, because if they're not killing anybody, chances are they're going to be sitting back. And although they might be defending, chances are they're camping. They might be defending, but they're probably not. There's a chance, but they aren't. So, you can see where your problem resides, that... If the objective's not being done, like saying kill confirm, no one's picking up tags. And normally in that game mode, it means just no one's like rushing and getting kills. Um, in fact, I've, I just recently, I think I got like a 50 kill game and uh, we nearly lost. Just because no one was, I mean like the next guy on my team had like 20 kills, which isn't that much at all. So when stuff like that happens, you kind of have to give up this this style of gameplay where you're you're sitting back, you're trying to get your kill streaks and stuff like that kind of have to give that up for the sake of the win for the actual game you know if you want to win the game you have to do the objective and to do the objective you can't do this style of gameplay unless you have other people helping you now i believe i did capture like two maybe three flags not that many but it turned out that we won the game just because i had some teammates who also wanted to win the game final score is 27 and 3 hope you enjoyed it and as you can see, we actually do have some people on the team. Like, that guy went 41-9. and nine. That is a good game right there. I would have posted that. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, have a good one.